Following on from my SPM in six minutes video, I received a comment on Twitter asking how you can edit the default graphs, for example, so that the p-value boxes don't cover up any other important aspects of the figure. So I thought I'd just have a quick demonstration just to show that again, it's possible to do that without any prior coding or MATLAB experience. So here I've just got the default kind of example repeated measures ANOVA from the spm1d.org website. So I'm just running the default example just so that I can get a graph to play with. Um, the first thing to answer the specific question is if you click on the arrow, you can, just like in any manual program, um, select things and move them around. So if, I don't know, if that p-value was in the way of something you're interested in, you can just click it, he says, and move it out of the way. And then the other thing you can do, so this one down here, not many places you can move it, so you can change the font size. So click on it. Up here to the right of the arrow, there is the property inspector. So if you click that and you get all of your options for whatever you clicked on. So here you could change the text if you wanted to, but I'm just going to change the font size. Um, you could put it in bold. You can change the font color if you want. Um, and then that's changed there. Equally, if you don't want the gray or if you want to color code anything or match it in with any themes, um, you can do the same thing again. Click on the gray shaded area and you can change the color of that as well. So it is easy, just like you're doing it in, I don't know, PowerPoint or even Paint. Um, you can just click and play and change much of the visual settings in these default graphs.